Fellow game players, welcome to Blind Date, another Meatly Jam 2016 game. I'm going on a blind date! Don't screw it up! You are going on a blind date after months of loneliness. Yeah, don't mess this up. Hello? Ah, I see, okay. Ah, my response is, uh, am I the guy or the girl? I don't know, I think I'm probably the guy. Uh, hello, hey, oh good you made it. Well, hello. It's good to see you. Sorry I'm late, I had to take the bus here because my car's been broken down. Cars? What, both of them? You took both cars here? That's impressive. Okay. No big deal. Happens to the best of us. Ha! Shit happens. You know what? It does happen to the best of us when both our cars break down at the same time. I don't know how I did that. I suppose it does. So tell me more about yourself. What do you do for work? I work as a contractor. It pays well. Ah, uh, sometimes. I, I used to be a massage therapist, not now. I work as a software engineer. Uh, t technically, I've done all three of these jobs. I mean, Unity is software as well. I suppose that's my most recent work. Fair enough. Ah. That must make you a lot of money. You know what they say, ladies like a man with a huge paycheck. I don't like you already with your huge nose and your lack of arms. Woman looks at you for a short, awkward moment. Are you nervous? You look nervous. It's been a while. Yes, I am. No, not at all. I'm brimming with self-confidence. You know they say a woman can tell what a man is lying. The woman winks. What do you think I'm lying? So what's your name? Well, okay, I have no choice but to lie at this point. I'm gonna go with what Death said, Josh. Well, Josh, you have a wonderful name. So tell me, are you far around here? Am I gonna get questioned again later on and I have to prove all this? I grew up here. I moved here when I was young. I moved here a few months ago. Hmm, well, I've been here a while. Hmm. Moved here when I was young. So what's the difference between that and I grew up here? Ah, oh, I moved here a few months ago. I've lived here my whole life. I love it. The air, the trees, and the people. It gets awful lonely out here, though. Who was your last lover? What? That This is very inappropriate for a first meeting, you know. I mean, there's a plant right in front of us. We're both looking at the plant right now. This is very 2D. All I see is a line. Excuse me? Pardon? What? Um, I never say excuse me. Mind you, I do say what. You heard me. Who was the last woman we slept with? Rude. I don't really feel comfortable answering that. It's been a very long time. If it's really that important for you to know. Remain silent. <laughs> God, silence is the worst thing you could possibly do. I don't feel comfortable answering that. You're very intrusive. The woman lets out a long, almost apologetic sigh. I'm sorry that was rude of me. You must forgive me. I haven't been on a proper date in a few years. Yes, it shows. Ha 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 ha! It's alright. I've been out of commission myself for quite some time. Out of commission? Please don't let it happen again. I'm going to remain silent. Let's give it to the awkward silent treatment. The woman looks almost hurt by her silence. She started it! I do appreciate you taking me out. It's a really nice restaurant. Tell me, Josh, do you cook? Actually, yes I do. I'm a very good cook. I make the most amazing souffles. Made a cheesecake today. Yes, and I do it pretty well, too. I do pretty well. Damn straight I do. You know they say that a woman, that women look for a man who cooks. It's a very attractive quality. Yes it is. Yes it is. Wait a minute. How's Emma doing? How do you know Emma? Who? Excuse me? What? Ha <laughs> ha! Do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? Okay. Stalker alert, 10%. I know her, but how do you? Excuse me? How do you even know my mother's name? Oh, that's a little disconcerting. How do you know my mother's name? The woman pauses for a long while. You haven't mentioned her before? No. Seriously, how do you know my mother's name? Uh-oh. How can you be so fought? How do you know my mother? No, I didn't. Oh dear, is she going to be the killer? The woman's eyes grow shifty. As if she's thinking intently. I'm so sorry. 
The girl at work told me about her. Apparently, yes, apparently spelt wrong. Your mother used to work for a company. Oh my, you must think I'm some kind of creep or something. No, I'm just stalker, 15%. I suppose that makes sense. No big deal, I guess. It was a little rude to bring up a dinner like that. Oh boy, that's a relief. Um, no big deal, I guess. Oh, thank God. I really am out of it today. Please forgive me. I thought I was the one that was going to be uncomfortable trying to solve this. Right now, she's having difficulty convincing me to keep hold of her. Why are you here? I've been try trying to go on a date. Yeah, I'm beginning to question that as well. We think alike. Existedly or situationally? Don't get any more cryptic than that, could you? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get weird. Situationally. That's not quite what I meant. Why are you here? Why don't you feel alone enough to come on this date? Why are you acting like this? Answering a question with a question is not really my thing. What? It's beyond rude. Wow. Just wow. I mean, whatever. Ah, uh, well, considering my options, I'll actually answer a question with a question. You've lived alone for, what, three years? Six months, 23 days. God, I can't imagine how tired you must feel. Living in that lonely condo. Okay, stalker alert, 50%. Seriously, what the hell? Please stop, this is not polite. I'm hearing the wind breeze. What the hell's going on here? God, you're pathetic. Do you really think going on a random blind dip is going to fix everything? I've seen the way you sleep, the way you drink, the way you pick your nose when no one's looking. Stalker 100%! Let's get out of here, now! Throw water in her face, quick! Run! I don't need to take this. Quick, run! You're in danger, man. I can see you shaking all the way from the front door. No, this is all hell. I can see. Do you really think anybody would agree to go on a blind date with you? Please, I can't take this. Why are you saying these things? I just don't want to be alone anymore. I hurt so much. Now I'm remaining silent. The more I say things, the worse it gets. Because this is exactly what you deserve. You hate yourself and everyone around you. And you yet reserve the rights to feel lonely. Oh, for the love. Can't take it anymore. I feel so alone. I feel so empty inside. I'm remaining silent. This, I think she wants me to commit suicide or something. You've been dead inside for years, and you don't have the fucking balls to end it already. I've seen you. Staring at a piece of rope. Hesitating at the top of a building. God, you're pathetic. I needed help. I needed love. I needed contact. Okay. I just want to point out at this point, I've already left the door, and I'm probably phoning the police. Hmm. We all need love. You need to realise the truth. You need to realise that you are nothing. Completely and utterly insignificant in the grand scheme of your life. You're insane, woman! And you're a whiny little squirt whose sole purpose is to be unhappy. Yet, here you are, unaccepting of your own fate. I honestly don't even know why I bothered to come at all. Why are you saying these things? I can't believe I came here tonight. Please stop. I'm defending myself here. I'm sorry, Josh. I feel your pain. And it is coming out in anger. The thing is, how you feel is so... harrowing. You seem to lose all sense of being human. It hurts to look in your eyes and see only pain. On a blind date of all things. I just want to be loved. I just want to be accepted. I just want to be happy. Everybody wants something, Josh. And frankly, what you want isn't something worth giving. This was a mistake, Josh. You shouldn't have come here. You should have just stayed at home and ordered pizza like you had originally planned. Breathe heavily through your nose. Oh, does that mean I'm, I'm getting angry if I breathe heavily through my nose? <sighs> I was never going to be the one to fix the problems. But you can, but you should, but you won't. Ha! Uh, you should before I punch you in the face. I shouldn't. And even if I should, I wouldn't. I'm not going to fix your problems, Josh. I'm going to make them worse. I'm not the solution. People like me are the problem. People like you are the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. I've followed you for several years. You are my obsession. And I've never seen someone so unhappy. 
so what do I do? Is there any hope of happiness for me? When I... What do I do? Why do I do these things myself? Why am I accepting blame for this? I don't know. That's something you're going to have to figure out on your own. And yes, I mean it. On your own. You simply aren't fit for a relationship. You had to rely on a blind date to be here tonight. Some woman you've never met. Who knows you very, very well. Yes. Have you been following me? Wow. You're quite thick, aren't you? I understand what I need to do now. But I don't know if I have the coach. Am I really at fault here, though? Now, how long have you been following me, exactly? You sound like you're like a, a childhood obsession that kind of went out of control. Your entire life. Go, you a mess. I really shouldn't have come. You really shouldn't have come. I said I'd make things worse. But you were already a mental wreck before I came here. I'm sorry. It's just who I am. I wish I could do it all over again. I'm running out. Hmm. I'm choosing the lesser of the evil here. I know. However, you need to realise that you can never go back to those things. There's nothing you can do. You're quite frankly destined to be alone forever. Yeah. A girl may come into your life every once in a while, but it's just going to be a reminder of what a piece of pathetic swine you are. Does it ever end? Does it ever get better? Will I ever find love? Jeez. No, plain and simple. You're barren. The desolate life you lead is barren. Does it scare you? Does it terrify you? Because, oh boy, it should. Because you are alone. Completely and utterly alone. Look at your life. It's empty. It's lonely. And it's just generally a mess. It's a barren desert. No life. No love. Just dry, lonely land. So in the end, when faced with your loneliness, faced with the fact that you're wasting your time, what are you going to do? I'm going to leave. I'm going to stay. Remain silent. Hmm, I feel this is going to be a critical part. Hmm. I'm going to leave, which, unless I'm stapled to my chair, I'm going to leave. I guess he's not coming. Eh? Hang on a minute. I think I've just been kicked right up my rear end here. Because at the very end then, just then, I'm getting the impression that what I just did was in my mind. And I was contemplating what would happen if I went on the blind date. Just for a moment. I don't know, but I've got a feeling that the last bit was pretty critical. I'm going to do this again and test my theory. Please stay with me. Okay guys, resuming with our ending choice. Now that I've established that the person I've been talking to has been my own conscience, let's just uh, get over that bit and uh, decide to stay. I'm going to stay. I'm Sarah. The woman smiles. That's better. Alright, now that I've established that uh, my own conscience was being very annoying to myself, mind you, I suppose we all get at that stage, don't we? Whenever we've had a really bad week or everything's just been going really down, you do get, you do feel that, don't you? You kind of feel like, why is everything going so wrong? Why is my birthday cake so small? You know, I mean, the usual thing, but... You've got to be brave and move forward. I think that was the moral of the story. That was clever. That was certainly fooling me a lot. It explains a lot of things. Thank you very much for joining me for this a very excellent and amazing game. If you want to find out what happens if you remain silent, well, you're doing nothing basically, so I think you just fail for that one as well. Uh, down the link for this game is below in the description. And subscribe if you want to see some more in the future. I'll see you soon. Keep playing. I like happy endings, what can I say?